Hi everyone, it's Laura. Welcome to Mask Monday. So you can see I have my mask on already. I don't have any eye masks on today. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just didn't put any on. So I am wearing, and it's kind of ripped, but this Face to Re, um, Woe H2O, and it's one of these two-part things. So there was a, like a serum in this part that you put on first, and then you put the mask on over it, which is why it's ripped like this. I got this from Miss Buffy Summers, one of my good friends and lovely subscribers in friend mail. Thank you. I think she sent it to me a while ago. I just have so many masks. I'm trying to get through more of them. And I actually first had on this mask that I got from Buffy. This Tony Moly I'm Green Tea. I love Tony Moly masks. And as I was pulling it on, I tore it, which, you know, not the end of the world. You can kind of work with it. It tore three times. It tore once like all the way across the cheek and then like this whole portion tore off here and then it tore down the chin so I just said forget it so I'm sorry Buffy <laughs> this one was a no-go and it wasn't dried out so and I don't think I was pulling on it super hard I was just you know whenever you put them on you kind of adjust them that's all I was doing and it just ripped just like shredded it was crazy so I wasn't able to do that one so I was like well let me do another one that Buffy gave me <laughs> So I found this one. So thank you, Buffy. This one's really nice. It feels really good on my on my face. So yeah, I don't have anything like to show you or any like Q and A's to do. So I guess I'll just talk. Um, I'm good at that. <laughs> I can ramble with the best of them. Um, I bought some stuff from Prime from you know for from Amazon for Prime Day. Um, and that video is going up, um, tomorrow, Tuesday. So you'll see that. Didn't buy a lot of stuff, just some random crap that I frankly didn't need, but stuff I wanted. So anyway, so that video is going up. Um, you probably notice I just don't have that many videos lately. Like some weeks I only have one and it's because I only get Ipsy, Ice Cream Beauty and Walmart and Ear Fleek. That's it. So I just, I don't have a lot of content and I'm not going to go shopping just so that I can make videos. You know what I mean? Like if I buy something I will def that's, that I needed or wanted and I'll definitely save that for a video, but I'm not going to specifically go out and buy something just for the sake of making a video. Like I'm trying not to spend money, you know, money that I normally wouldn't spend if I didn't have a channel. Let's put it that way. Because if, if I didn't have a channel... Actually, I probably wouldn't get Ice Cream Beauty. I'd probably still get Ipsy just because it's fun. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to cut back is what I'm saying. So um, I should probably do like some get ready with me's or something and use up some of my palettes. I'm staring because I have a whole bunch of palettes sitting here. Um, but I'm still not totally comfortable doing those on camera. So yeah, so... <laughs> um, but I'll be getting Ice Cream and Ipsy hopefully this week. If not, for sure, next week. So, I mean, I'll have more content coming up. So, so there's that. But, yeah, the last two weeks, I think I've only had one or two videos up each week. So, but I already have three for this week. So, yay. <laughs> um, let's see. What else was I going to say? Um, yesterday, Ricky had the day off. And we went to a charity softball game. Another one. <laughs> and it was really, really fun. Um, it was a good time. It was in Kenosha, which is south of here. It's the same field that we went to um, to see fireworks on the 3rd of July. Um, and it was just um, a bunch of Packers players and then some like local celebrities, people I've never heard of. I think they were a softball team because they were way too good at softball to not be playing regularly. So I think they were kind of like ringers, um, but the Packers players to beat them so that was kind of fun it was oh what was the score like 12 to 8 or something like that I don't know but it was really really fun it was a good time and Ricky got a few autographs not as many as he wanted but he got a few so he was mostly happy <laughs> and then we left there and we tried to go get dinner and one of the places we were going to go is Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen because they're open late because it was after nine and they're open till 11 and we got there and she said it would be a 45 minute wait. And I said, no, <laughs> it's already so, so late. So we ended up going to Giordano's um, for pizza, even though I wasn't really in a pizza mood, but that's okay. They were open till 10 and we got there about 
it was just a few minutes away from Cheddar, so I got there by about 20 after, and we were done right at 10, so we are home by 11 or so. Well, it was a good day, um, and we went to an Italian grocery store in Kenosha before the game, and that was fun. We got a lot of goodies and, you know, good pasta sauce that they make on site, and oh, I love that place. So that's what we did yesterday. And then today he has to work. He's at work now. Um, oh, today's Sunday when I'm filming this, I should say that. Um, so he had to work today. He closed, four to close. And our niece came by with the baby. So um, she didn't have her, her daughter with her because she, I guess, was at a birthday party. So we didn't get to see her. She's um, like two and a half, but we did get to see the baby. And he is eight months now, I believe, eight or nine months. He's huge. He's going to be a big boy. <laughs> but, oh, he's so cute. I will insert a picture of um, him sitting on his mom's lap here somewhere on the screen. Um, and then Ricky held him for a little while because she came over before he had to go to work. So I'll insert that picture, too. Oh, he's just, he is the cutest. Well, of course, I think he's the cutest because, you know, <laughs> he's related. But he is just so cute and so happy like he was smiling and cooing and giggling like the whole time he was fascinated by Coco Coco was making him laugh because she's wagging her tail and sniffing him and then Dolly I don't know if she's ever seen a baby like she hasn't since we got her and and since we don't know who had her you know before we got her from the shelter I don't know if she's ever seen a baby before but she came right up to him and was sniffing the bottom of his foot and then she like backed up and then she sniffed him some more and she kind of reached her little paw like she was going to touch him. But she didn't because I was watching her. You know, I don't she has her claws. So I didn't want her to scratch him or anything. But and then she just walked away and she sat in her little box. Ricky has a shoe box that he keeps in the living room for her to sit in. And she just, you know, perches up in sits in that box and just watched him for a little while. And then she walked away. So she was super curious. Prince was sleeping. He never did come downstairs to, <laughs> to see him. But Prince has seen babies before and he's kind of indifferent. But. Dolly was so cute with him. I wish I'd have got a picture of her, like, checking him out. It was the cutest thing. But, yeah, we had a nice visit with her. We had a ton of stuff to give her that, you know, every time we go shopping to, like, a Ross, this is going to drive me crazy, a Ross or a TJ Maxx or Burlington or one of those places, Ricky always buys something for the babies, for the kids. So we had clothes and toys. We had a Peppa Pig. That's her favorite. Um, Analia, who wasn't here, the, the two and a half year old. It's her favorite. So we had one a uh, stuffed Peppa Pig and we had some Coco Melon toys. And then we had stuff for, for the baby. And so we gave her all that stuff and she was really happy. I had to help her carry it to the car because there was so much stuff. <laughs> we had like four big bags full of stuff for her. I'm like, goodness and uh, one of the outfits that we got for Nolly she's like she has that already I'm like I'm sorry <laughs> Ricky bought it not me I told her just go ahead and exchange it you know we didn't we don't have the receipt anymore but it's from Marshall I said I'm sure they'll let you you know they'll give you a lower price than what's on the tag because I'm sure they're gonna say oh it's on clearance now it's only worth whatever but they'll give you like a store credit so anyway that was fun and we had a nice time, so I've been just, I filmed a couple of videos today and doing my mask Monday and I'm going to go to bed in a little while and Ricky may possibly be, hopefully I don't even want to, I don't even know if I want to say it all out, but possibly be getting a promotion at work. So please send good vibes, prayers, thoughts, all that stuff they are training him um, to possibly, you know, move up in management where he is. So I don't want to say more details because it's like unofficial. So, but anyway, send all the good vibes for that. So, um, I think that's all I can think of. It's said to leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and then I will come back and give you my final thoughts and wrap this up. So I will be back. Okay. Back. I rubbed in the serum. It's a little tacky, but it'll It'll soak into my skin more, um, but it, my, I'm very glowy and it feels really smooth and soft. So thank you, Buffy. That again, that was this face tree, this two part mask. Whoa, H two O. So there's like a 
serum ampule you put on and then the sheet mask was underneath it so thank you very much i really like it and i am gonna go finish getting ready and for bed and then i'm gonna go to bed because i stay up too late <laughs> and then i'm tired all day at work so thank you so much for watching guys i will see you on my next video bye bye